Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has formulated the air staff requirements for LCA naval version in 1985. The naval headquarters had requested Aeronautical Development Agency ADA in 1986 to undertake a feasibility study for developing a naval version of LCA as a possible replacement for Sea Harrier aircraft operating from Indian Navy aircraft carriers. So the feasibility study was undertaken by ADA and a study report was submitted to Indian Navy. The PDR, that is Preliminary Design Study, received approval in 1995 and Naval Air Staff Requirements, NASR, specific to deck operations were formulated in 2003 and the CCS accorded approval for the development of deck-based fighter. So the LCNA program was conceived as a limited change derivative of Air Force Test program and aimed for a deck-based short takeoff but arrested recovery that is stow bar fighter aircraft. At the time of the approval by CCS in 2003, it was envisaged due to a perceived 80% commonality with Tejas program that building two LCA Navy MK1 prototypes with accumulated flying hours of 400 hours within six years would be adequate. However, the development of niche technologies required, especially for carrier-based flying, delayed the program considerably, adding to both time and cost. So in 2009, the CCS split the program in two full-scale engineering development programs and extended the project validity to 2014. The two aircraft completed 176 and 15 hours of flying and undertook a total of 18 arrested landings afloat, 28 arrested landings ashore, and 63 ski jump takeoffs. On 11 January 2020, both aircraft successfully made a maiden arrested landing on INS Vikramadit. This was followed by a ski jump takeoff from INS Vikramadit the next day. The lessons from a trial of phase 1 were assimilated for future phases. Now let's talk about the phase 2. The phase 2 of LCNA program had already been approved in November 2009. The two additional aircrafts, NP-3 and NP-4, in the LCA Navy MK-2 configuration were to be built. The LCA Navy MK-2 was to achieve better power to weight ratio with incorporation of niche technologies to overcome the tech shortcomings of LC Navy Mark II. However, Indian Navy put a proposal to withdraw its commitment from ongoing LCA Navy Mark II program as capabilities were failing to match the operational requirements. In October 2016, the Honorable Raksha Mantri approved the Indian Navy's request to withdraw and direct the ADA to progress LC Navy Mark I as a technology demonstrator with the aim to utilize it as an intermediate platform in order to develop an indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter that is Tedvia. This is how the decision was taken to start afresh on TEDBF with enhanced performance characteristics. On 9 September 2019, a general board meeting of ADA chaired by Secretary of Defense R&D ADA proposed to develop TEDBF by 2028. The Indian Navy wanted TEDBF to be a fifth generation fighter aircraft to replace the MiG 29K by 2032. After discussion with ADA, it was decided that a four plus generation TEDBF would be developed by 2028 and subsequently the fifth generation aircraft would be developed. The Indian Navy wants the first flight to take place by 2026 so that the availability of indigenous fighters as a replacement of MiG 29K can be confirmed. Now, during the Indian Navy Day in December 2022, the Navy Chief has said that the Light Combat Aircraft Naval Version Project has significantly helped in developing the proposed next generation deck based fighters. Navy is preparing the draft cabinet note for that and is confident that by 2026, Navy should have the prototype. The production of aircraft would start by 2032. Also, during the Defense Expo 2022, ADA has reported that TEDBF program can be executed in 8 years 
after the funding approval from the cabinet committee on security ada is expecting the funding clearance from ccs by june 2023 once it is approved it will take another 4 to 4.5 years for roll out of the first prototype which means that the first prototype can be expected around 2028 and a fighter jet can enter into production by 2032 This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.